Yep, Charlemagne the guy. Andrew Schultz. We are the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Back for another week of Brilliant Idiot in this bang, yes, bang. Sir. Yes, sir. Uh, Hezekiah Walker, how are you, sir? I'm good, my boy. How are you? I'm blessed, black, and highly favored, man. Happy to be here, man. Yo, you really beat all the gay allegations, man. I think we need to give it up for Charlemagne the God. Yeah. They've been trying to yeah. put gay on you. For the level of success that you've had, the, the way that you've affected the game, the way you've changed the game, the amount of money you brought in, the amount of times they tried to call you gay, do a wide shot so we could look at what's in the window, the amount of time that they tried to call you gay, the fact that you've every single time smoothly evaded the gay, it's kind of remarkable, I yo. I got called a butch queen yesterday. Say what? I got called a butch queen yesterday. I mean. Or oh, two days ago. We're recording this on a, a Wednesday. I got called. When, when is that? When Wait, is why, what happened? Today, Wednesday? Why'd they call you a butch queen? That's funny. <laughs> I guess they think I'm a butch queen. Pull up the definition of butch queen, Taylor. I had you to might Google be it. a butch queen. Before I get offended about things, I Google. <laughs> no, nah, but for real. <laughs> okay. Before I, I Google and I make up my mind. Wait, why? Okay, happened? I'm not like all of y'all that just let people in the comments, you know, tell you that you should be offended. I Google for myself. Wait, wait, wait. Tell me, tell me. What's going on? What am I what? missing? What am I missing? What? <laughs> that feels like there's an inside joke. No, it's not. It's butch it's queen. Women arguing butch right now. Butch queen. <laughs> wait, are there <laughs> girls upset about something? <laughs> no. Butch queen. Wait, what the oh, girls get upset no, about? No, the girls are definitely fighting. Right, girls are fighting. Business. Over Bush what? Queen. Nothing. I, I'm, I'm, it's really not about Did that. you start something? I didn't. I, yeah, maybe I did. I don't think I meant to. Al, can you remind us what he started? Because he's not sharing. He might have he threw a little. You want me to read it? Threw some uh, gas on it. Let me read. Let me read. Let me read. Because I don't know if he wants to go oh, into it. I'll read it. Hold on. Where's no, it? No, please. Uh, I'm going to read the you, first. You okay. need to chill out. You've okay. been coming in Taylor, here. How you not know? This is the Daily talking. Mail. This is the Daily Mail. Charlemagne the God is slammed. For fat phobia after branding plus size women, big backs who are thirsty for a man. <laughs> Radio host Charlamagne the God has been accused of. Oh, we got the clip. Oh, play the clip, Taylor. Uh, yeah. I, they probably edited it all crazy though to make it sound worse than what it is. No. Salute to all the big backs out there, man. The big back brigade. I love y'all, man. But what? Yeah, of course you love that. I don't even like them using that young woman's picture because I was not talking about that young woman, or maybe I was talking about that young woman, but I did not know that young woman was big. Listen to play it. Let's play it, Taylor. A lot of big back behavior. Does she have a big back? See, you ain't even played a clip. You gotta play the you got see go go to Breakfast Club. That's what I'm saying. They do this. Everybody does this. They what take shit out of context. Coming? What's out of context? No, go to Breakfast Club page, yo. How do we get from people thinking you gay? Oh, because this is what yeah, it's Yeah, that's like. what I'm like. It's oh, a story. But you always beat the gay allegations. No, I don't, because people think I'm gay. You don't beat allegations. You don't? No. Oh no, let me let me say let me refrain. Live rephrase that. <laughs> you beat allegations if you're accused of a crime and you're in a court of law. Oh, and but if you it's beat just in court of law. Fodder. If it's just a court of public opinion, you don't beat those because nobody cares about the truth if when the, the lie, lie is, is more entertaining. entertaining. So true. And don't let it be some shit that I can get these jokes off oh, with. Talk to them. Come on. Talk to them. If it's some shit you can get these jokes off with for a few days, you let them go with it. Thanksgiving dinner, baby. Oh. Thanksgiving dinner. You have a oh. great feast. And then for about four or five days. You still eating that goddamn thing? So that's dinner. oh, that's a great way of handling the lies that the people online make up. Is you just lean in, act like they're true, and then you cut the rug out from under. Oh, you just don't give a fuck. Like uh, people don't like. I, that, this is why I be really. I'm not even joking when I say this. This is how I know people ain't doing the work that they say they're doing. This is how I know people ain't doing all the therapy that they say they're doing. This is how I know people ain't doing the plant based medicine that they say they're doing. This is how I know people ain't meditating because they too bothered. Hey. They too bothered. There's nobody who can tell me about me. Mm. If I know something isn't true, I'm not about to sit around trying to convince you or anybody else. I ain't stressing nothing. Yeah, I feel that. You know what I'm saying? Like sometimes I be watching people and I'm looking at their reactions and I'm like, they stressing. There's a wound. They stressing. There's a wound. Somebody touched that wound. Somebody threw a little salt in that wound. They're triggered right now. What's triggering them? You can't trigger me. You've been in the game too long? It's not even that. It's just certain shit. You, like, you're not going to trigger. Like, you're not going to tell me that I'm gay. <laughs> Charles, <laughs> so, yo, we need some no, AC. Al, the, we need some AC in here. No, we need some I'm gonna water bottles. My, I'm going to tell you what my mouth, my mouth said that, but my brain was like, <laughs> I ain't never sucked a dick. I ain't never got fucked in my ass. Ever. Never? Don't knock nobody who does it, but no, it hasn't been me. So, all right. Let's play the clip. Like, no, tell that's the clip. Why didn't you just go to Breakfast Club Instagram page? Because she don't pay for YouTube, so she yeah. got to wait for the ads to go. The Jesus Christ, Taylor. Instagram. Taylor's all-time worst Taylor. bringing shit up in history, I think. 
Taylor, you're doing everything but turning Taylor, the volume up. Do you think you're all time the worst at bringing? But it was a running movement. My... <laughs> <laughs> Yo. She almost called I know, me. I, know. I almost got it. I know. You know the rules. If you call me it, I get to use it for three seconds. <laughs> it's three second rule. That you call a white guy the N word. She was triggered. She was triggered. No, no, nah, but that's that's a good dummy. This was like dumb. Okay, so like, Jess Hilarious is breaking down the story. What's the young lady's name, Taylor? Risa Tisa. Risa Tisa. She's gonna be on Tamron Hall next week. She's breaking down the story about Risa Tisa. Pause it, Taylor. Who is Risa Tisa? <laughs> Risa Tisa is a young woman who put up a 52 part TikTok and in the 52 part TikTok she's basically saying how she got played by a guy right am I, am I getting this right Taylor yeah. okay so Ta so Jess is explaining the story she's I don't big, know nothing about this big, shit the girl now, listen, yeah the press play Jess is telling the story. Yeah, but they, this There's a girl you're saying whose real name is Reese's Pieces. <laughs> and she's fat. No, is that what's called? What's her name? Reese Tisa. Reese's Tisa. Well, good catch. Thank you. Thank you, Miles. So keep in mind that this story is spanning March of This is the girl talking. To be honest with you, man, I hear a lot of big back behavior. Does she have a big back? She do, she do give Sheila that was driving up the mountain. <laughs> what? Sheila was beautiful, though. Yeah, no, 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 no. You talked about the big back, not the face. Yeah, you're right, you're she, right. She's cool. Could, big back no, I'm just saying, because in a situation like this, some of you big backs, y'all got to stop being so thirsty for it. Yo, calling fat girls big backs? It's crazy. That's crazy, bro. It's, it's, it not like everybody else. Big, okay, she said it herself. She Hold on. I Do we need to watch through this? Yeah. Or can I, we discuss it? No, that's it. Go ahead. Pause. Okay, so break down. So calling them big backs, it, it, why? Break that down. Because, <laughs> first of all, <laughs> you don't call people fat. So you got to call them big backs. I thought it was, I think, I thought it's almost like a term of endearment amongst us as a people. It's not like I, it's, it's not like I'm saying like <laughs> big backs, big, you know what I mean? Like, no, I'm just like, like. big backs. That sound like a, that sound like. Like a that, whale. That sound, sound like, like a, a whale. No. You got humpbacks, you nah. got big backs, you no. got blue. No. You got killer. It's almost like back in the day when we would say somebody's big bone. Big bone, exactly. Yeah. Big back. Like you, you just imagine their bra cutting into their skin and a fat rolling over it. Because that's what you used to say, right? You'd be like, yo, I'm not fat, I'm big bone. Yeah. So yeah. I'm why like, would they yo, lie about that? So it's, I'm not gonna say big bone. It's like, yo, y'all want us to say, say big bone? They ain't never met. They ain't never found one big bone in history. Not, 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 you know that, human, right? Dinosaurs, not humans. So you, now you calling them dinosaurs, Charlotte? <laughs> yo, this I'm guy's a real not. asshole, bro. Now I understand why these women not. are angry at you because you out here calling them Listen, dinosaurs. I can understand <laughs> women being upset at this, but you have to know. Like, but can you understand big back Barontosaurus is being upset at it? <laughs> By the way, nobody ever said hey, I. I give Mac hell all the time. Mac is our guy. Mac is our Mac works at Breakfast Club. Y'all know him Big Mac. Big from Mac? Mac? I do. I say Big Back Attack. You know what I no. mean? No. We 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 first of all Mac is a Comedian. Oh, okay. You know, and Shout I love Mac. Mac. I want Mac to lose weight, actually, because I want I, I care about him. You know what I'm saying? We were just talking about. I told Mac yeah. I'll pay for his surgery. What happened? No, we were just talking about <laughs> what surgery? Whatever he could do. I always Mac was our intern in 2013. 12, 2013. Yep. Yep. And then this 2024, he's back working with us at Breakfast Club as a uh, as a producer and okay. writer and stuff like that. Fire. And so I'm like, yo, I love him. I want to see him lose weight. But here's my thing. Nobody ever says anything when you make jokes about him. You know what I mean? Oh, so you can make fun of... Wait, are you trying to say there's a double standard where you can make fun of men, but you can't make fun oh, of women? it's definitely a double standard. Is that what you're trying to say but I right get now? it, though. I mean, listen, I'm not going to sit here and act like I don't understand. I'm going to always be, you know, cognizant of people's feelings. Do you think women are more sensitive to being fat fucks than men? No. <laughs> I think it's equal. I think it's equal. You think, oh, the sensitivity is equal, but men just got to put up with it. E Whereas women, the they can complain and they can call you true. mean. Like you said, Big Mac is oh, a comedian. Who you, okay, what's going on? Yeah, I, I feel like if Big Mac wasn't a comedian, I feel like you would hurt his feelings. You think so? Yeah. I don't know, man. I'm going to be honest with you. Like, and also, <laughs> him being a comedian doesn't mean you're not hurting his feelings. That's true. You think yeah, I'm hurt, feelings you think I'm hurt Mac feelings? I think deep down, don't they say that comedians oh, have dark humor? God damn. <laughs> what? <Jesus. laughs> what? I didn't hear what he said. I don't want to hurt nobody's feelings. That's never my intention. But man. Man, shut up. Big back? I know. That's you, such that's a lie. That's bullshit. Shut I'm not up. talking about big back <laughs> necessarily. Not. Listen. You do like to hurt people's no, feelings. No, I don't. Yes, listen, you do. No, I don't. And you like when you know, people's no, feelings get hurt. Because, no, I don't. Yeah, there's it a, is. There's a lot of people who deserve... <laughs> 
the unhealed parts of me, but they will not get. They're those. not gonna get it. No, no. You say you still got unhealed parts? Of course. You don't. You don't. You don't. You know, I don't think healing is a thing that ever really truly happened. Oh, okay. Because you always got. I think we all learn to deal with our triggers better because we know why we're triggered. Like for uh, example, we don't heal, we cope. If you're mad at me for saying big back, get skinnier back, get a little back. back. Um, but I'm saying, but that's the thing. Like that, <laughs> stop. But that's the thing, right? Unbig your back. No, but that's the thing. Is like, that what you just but said? that's the trigger. The trigger is. You probably know you need to lose some weight. <laughs> Unbig your back, he just said, Taylor. He said this way before anything. Way before I've been saying yeah. this, isn't right. new. <laughs> really? Like, we've been saying unbig your back for at least two years. Your big, big back brigade. Like we've been saying, I'm like, what is going on? Maybe they didn't hear because they were chewing. <laughs> 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 chips are loud, bro. You ever chew chips? You ever chew like a Cheap. Fritos or something like that? Cheap. Them shits are loud. It's hard to hear the radio when you're chewing now, them now chips. I also, I also, by the way, this this was this was like last this Monday. Was a real jerk, huh? Listen, this was like last <laughs> Monday or Tuesday when I made these comments, right? Yeah. So for whatever reason, they go viral yesterday. She goes, now see to God and just like, that's not it, Taylor. No, it's okay. It's all time. That's the first one. No, you got to go back to the original Mount one. Rushmore no. of pulling shit up. And it's bad. It's, right. it's Mount Rushmore. You know what I'm saying? She's That's Mount the Rushmore. And you got to go to her big back tweet. Big back <laughs> brigade. You nah. called it a brigade? I didn't call her. I didn't call any one person. I said the big back brigade. How do you rein in the big back buffaloes? I didn't say that either. How do you, what, how do you control them? What? How no. do you control them? But you were saying you would. Were- talking about different types of big back and big back is not always no bad. but I, yes i was just saying like just because you got a big back don't mean you fat yeah that's you know true what I'm saying it's a lot of big back girls that are skinny there is <laughs> there is them skinny diesel ass girls with yep the big with the big, big back traps. like ninja yeah. turtles with hell, the skinny legs hell yeah yeah a little cake pop Jesus looking ass t.s <laughs> madison said hashtag big back people including me. Y'all letting Charlemagne get away with that or as we cave in, in his face, let me know. Now, I saw this and I laughed. I was like, because I, I could tell it's a joke, big back people, including me. Yeah, right? yeah. So I'm like, okay. But caving in his face, like, <laughs> are they going to sit on it? Now, <laughs> see, let's talk about that. Now. Oh, that was good. When I saw it, I was just like, damn. But yeah. I was like, damn, that's violent. You know what I mean? But I didn't, it's not, I'm not tripping off and I ain't thinking nothing of it. But... Jess Hilarious didn't like that. Jess Hilarious was like, if you were to say that about the transgender community. It would be an act of violence. That's what I'm saying. So it was just about. But you have a sense of humor about this. Well, I didn't know what caved the face in me. I just, I took it. I was like, damn, she want to. Like, like I think fight she's you? joking, right? Yeah. Um, but then somebody on social media told me, no, that's when a big back girl sits on your face. I don't oh, know if this is, is oh, true. That was actually what... I don't know is what I'm trying to... I don't oh. know if this is true or not. That's what I was told, you know, from people on oh. social media. But then I heard T.F. Madison say, no, that's when you verbally cave in somebody's face. But oh. I think what we all need to understand, all of us, me included, is words do matter. So my intention when I say big back may not yeah. be to insult Fat people. What do you? What do you? What is your intention? It's a descriptor. You're just describing the, the way that their backs look. Yeah. Like you always say, you, she sound fat. Now think how fucked up that's. A, she sound fat. Is she yeah. fat? Yeah. Like nah. You know what I'm saying? Calorically challenged or something. A, 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 one of the, one of our big one of our big back listeners called this morning and she said, "How about luxury size?" <laughs> that's what she wow. said. She said, "How about call, no?" She yeah. She said, "How, call, how about call us luxury size?" <laughs> Why? <laughs> I'd rather call you your name, okay? That's true. If you if you know their names, you can call them by their names. That's right. If you don't know their names, that's what right. is an object you can call them that's, that's, right. that's also kind of funny? That's right. Here's the moral of the story. This is just for me. What would you call them by? What What's mean? another object? What are you talking about? Like, if, we're, if you want to describe fat people as a group, but Please, you don't... Stop. Know. I'm not, not, I'm not doing, no, we're not doing that. Why? No. You did it with Big Backs. What's another one? I, You're I, amazing no, at this. I like Big Backs. Big Backs Brigade. But okay. there's another probably thing. Um... I mean, I think there's a way you could say premium back, maybe. Premium. You know? Yeah, uh, there's a little bit more room back. in premium. Luxury back, extravagant back. Extravagant back. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I don't know. But here's the thing. Here's the problem with all of this. 
it's 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 gone too far for no reason. It really has. It's, it really has. Because I don't think anybody means any harm. I don't think T.S. Madison really meant no harm with this tweet, but I know how this tweet can cause harm. We got to stop I it. didn't mean anything by Big Back, but I know how Big Back can cause. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? It's like January 6th all over again. Man, shut up, man. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> the big backs are being uh, called and, into and, action. And what, what's the problem? Stand by and, and or the other problem with all of this stuff, everybody starts getting labeled. Yep. Like Charlemagne's fat phobic. You guys are hungry. This person's transphobic. Yeah. You know, I just, like, do yeah. people understand? Like, that's why Mandy, I mean, that's why Mandy and Jess are having issues right now. I hate oh, that. Because of this? Like, no, this not because was, uh, it is, but because, you know, Mandy. They were on horrible decisions. They were having a conversation. Somehow or another, the whole just hilarious transphobic thing came back oh, up. God. And like, when you call people these labels, I don't think y'all realize how dangerous it's it dangerous. is. It's dangerous. So that's why when we say, yo, I would never say this about a transgender person. I would never say any, like, or, or a gay person, we're uh, we going to let them get away with this or we're going to cave their shit in. That's crazy. <laughs> that is a little bit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, so all I'm saying is even though it don't it don't bother. Is that, is that a threat or is that flirting? But that's what, huh? I, I don't know. If you're talking to a gay dude, I'm going to cave your shit in. Word. Man. Either way, it's a threat. Is it though? Either way, it's a fucking I'm a consensually threat. cave your shit box in. Not if you just tell me that shit. If you what? just walk up to me and be like, yo, I want to cave your shit in. Consensually, well, with your permission. Up. But what if He's it's like, like no. yo, whoa, 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 whoa. Yo, whoa. yo. <laughs> yo this is why what's he, going on, this yo? This is why he got the rumors, bro. Yo, what's bro? going on, yo? So, Taylor. This is why he got the rumors, bro. Taylor, he just, he just mind-sucking dicks. Mind he sucking, just, he mime sucking dicks. <laughs> yo, the other day Ryan yo, got No, dick. Ryan Garcia was the funniest. We had Ryan Garcia yeah, yeah. on Breakfast Club, yeah, he and he turned to my guy. He was out for a water. He turned to my guy. Yo, yo, yo can you give me? He yo, goes, he goes, yo, can you get me a? <laughs> <laughs> yo, Taylor, Taylor, you need to look out for Charlemagne, yo. Oh, wow. Everybody needs to look out for each other. We are so. Mean to each other. Yeah, why are we so mean? I'm like, trying to call Taylor really beautiful. Are, man, for no reason. And, and, and by the way, we're not even conscious of it, myself included sometimes. Who, yeah. who have you been mean to? I mean, uh, the Big Back Brigade, apparently. Stop it. Stop it. They, well, they, they, they mean to chairs. They're mean to furniture. <laughs> <laughs> you ever talk about that? Do we ever have that discussion where they sit Yo, up? by the Yo. way, y'all having all these comments about fat shaming. Uh -huh. Salute to King Harris, man. Woo! Uh, King Harris. Play, Woo! Play, play King Harris. Woo! King Harris fat shamed the Woo! fuck out of Drewski. Did he stand on business? He stood on big back business. Yo, you know what I mean? Listen, Yo. he, look, King Harris went crazy. What did King <laughs> Harris do? King is funny. Yeah. This, Yo, listen. I like this King, kid. let me tell you something. You might need to join your daddy on stage with them jokes. Let this me see. It. Let me see. It. By the way, this came from Breakfast Club because Drewski was on Breakfast Club. I thought once again, I'm so confused about what's what now. I thought Drewski was playing. I thought Drewski and, K and maybe they do. Maybe this is maybe, there a little beef. Maybe everybody's so good at acting because maybe they just doing this to, to hype each, hype up each other's brands. You know got what I'm saying? It, got King, it. We asked Drewski about King, and God, play the clip, Tim. I'm waiting for you. You're no, talking. No, play Drewski clip. We got. Let's go. Let's let's. Oh my God. Honestly, that one's not on you, Taylor. I got to yeah, defend yeah, you yeah. right there. You're right. You're right. That wasn't your fault, Taylor. Taylor Don't worry about it. I'll just, I'll just, I'll just explain. Oh, you got Drewski clip? Of course she does. She's the greatest puller upper Fuck. thing ever. <laughs> Fuck both yeah. y'all, for real. Why? Why? That was me? a compliment. I'm Fuck saying that you're beautiful. I'm saying that you're no, brilliant. He said you're the greatest you're... quicker picker upper. Care. You're better than Bounty Towel. Shut up. Damn, young Bounty. Yo, <laughs> yeah, Taylor's new name is Young Bounty. Come on, yo. Quick a picker upper. Yo. Okay. Okay, here goes yo. Drewski. This is Drewski talking about King Harry. Let me hear it. You said, who am I more scared of? Birdman or, or King? <laughs> oh, who? King Harry. Yeah, son. Oh, come on. King Harry? What are we talking about, man? Come on, bro. Don't play with people. Don't kids, man. Don't play with people. Hey, come on, man. Come on, bro. King said, King Harry. King T.I.P., son? Yes. King. He said he's pulling up on you. Nah, he did pull up on me at the video shoot. He had too much security on me, but he did. Nah, he did pull up on me. Yeah, yeah, he did. He did. Standing on business. Yeah, he tried to do like a like a. a, a oh my god! Nigga tried to do a stare off. Nigga got out of his car and just stood on kind of like the top of the car like that and just. I said, man, the car name was business. All right, and and this nigga going right. Underrated back joke. His ass house. He, Very underrated joke. What he said? That that people in YouTube. Y'all stop playing. 
Go scroll back, scroll back. There was a very underrated joke in there that people uh, in the comments caught, and that's who, that's that's a lot of times who I do it for nowadays. Okay, you know what go. I'm saying? Just the Easter eggs. Play it. What is it? Let's listen, listen. Nah, he did pull up on me at the video shoot. He had to be sorry. <laughs> listen. He did. Nah, he did pull up on me. Yeah, yeah, he did. He was standing off in his Yeah, he tried to do like a like a. Uh, uh, oh my god. <laughs> listen, listen. Stare off. Nigga got out of his car and just stood on kind of like the top of the car like that and just. I said, man, the car name was business. All right. And man, this nigga going right back to that. Right, I get it. That's good. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one, yo. Dad, y'all both been making dad jokes. That's a good one, yo. You can't get. I'll be honest. You can't get that unless you got kids, yo. You really can't. <laughs> that's get that. what I'm saying. You can't <laughs> get that joke unless you got kids. Yeah, yo, King stood on the car. Was the car named Biz? <laughs> the car's name was Biz. E I E I O. Now listen. Now play King. Now, this is King Harris responding to Drewski, yo. This is my man, son. All right? <laughs> yeah, your cholesterol's need to calm the fuck down, nigga. <laughs> Hold on. Start it back. Yo, start it back. That's now, that's, now, listen. Let's hear this now. Hey, Drewski. Yeah, your cholesterol's need to calm the fuck down, nigga. <laughs> you don't know why by the hell can't help me. God damn. Damn. Whoa, hold on, hold on, stop, stop, stop. Wide body Hellcat hips is the greatest fat joke of all time. Wide body Hellcat hips. But nobody cares because he said it about a man. Press play, Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> I just seen him a couple weeks ago. Nigga, we seen you run from the nigga. We seen you run from Birdman. We ain't seen you. I ain't never ran from nobody. It look like you got a pussy and you walk with a shirt. It look like before you go to sleep at night, you take your dick off and put it in the drawer. Damn! Nick, you got your dad legs and your mama body. You hear me? You feel like a punch buggy, nigga. You tried to... Nick, I just seen you. You just called me the, the king of standing on business, nigga. You was just dick riding, called me the new king of standing on business. Then you gonna go to these people's platform and tell them a whole bunch of lies. Nick, oh my God. It look like you sit down and you pee. <laughs> Believe it or not, you can act like a woman more than you can a man, nigga. I done seen this shit with my own eyes, nigga. You can do a skit like a female more than you could a nigga. That shit scares me. That shit, dude, that shit scares me. Hear me? Nigga, you was built like a DYKE, nigga. You, you. A DY. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that just proves your whole point. You would be the LeBron James of that shit. Yeah, I can't believe this nigga. I can't believe this. Where did where did this shit come from? This shit, this shit just popped out the window. I don't even know your manager. I don't even know who the hell told you to say that. But that shit was so wrong. That shit was so wrong. Yeah, I don't think they joke. You got hand, you got wheelchair people there. <laughs> oh, that is that's good. That's good. <laughs> that is good. <laughs> oh, wow. This is Yo. Yeah. Yeah. Wheelchair people lay is crazy. No, that's so, funny as hell. So let's talk about my man King. King shot up the block. He really did. He, he, he really you know, did. He fat shamed. Yep. He handicapped shamed. He stud shamed. Everybody got it. He was respectful to gays, though. He spelled it out. <laughs> <laughs> he spelled it out. You got it. That you know what I mean? He even King has a limit to standing on business. <laughs> Yeah. He will stand on business until it reaches the LGBTQ community, oh, and then he has to stand man. on business yeah, for a little yeah, bit. Yeah, Listen, yeah. man, God bless He's everybody. Smart. smart kid. He's a smart kid. The game is smart. All I'm saying is that if we if we if we did a fat shame of the week, yeah. that uh, is it. Not what I said. So you really can't make fun of fat people because unfortunately for them, nobody respects them. That is not true. It's unfortunate for them, but that's true. You can. Nobody's gonna give pushback. If if you did that whole thing about Muslims, how do you think it would go? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. No, nah, no, nah, it go like that with, with big people too, though. Heavy, big. It, 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 it's the same. Yes, it, it just depends. Who's who, fighting on behalf of it big people, bro? It depends who it is. For example, I'm getting called fat phobic right now. Yeah, but you laugh at it. What do you mean? <laughs> like right now, we're laughing at the fact that you get called fat phobic. If people were calling you uh, Islamophobic, you'd be concerned, bro, because they stand on business. <laughs> They definitely stand they on business. They stand yeah. on business. Shit. 
Um, <laughs> I guess I'm laughing. Listen, I, I would laugh. At, here's the thing. All of it is dangerous. What's wrong, Taylor? Nothing. I'm just listening. I feel like Taylor's sad. It makes <laughs> no, me no, sad. No, no, no. Taylor, Taylor, Taylor knows what she's thinking about. My all, heart is all connected all to all yours, all Taylor. I can't be happy if you're not happy. What am I thinking about? You're my. You're like my second daughter. Touch what you mean? Can y'all can, can continue the conversation? We were. You asked me a question. I genuinely couldn't move on because I looked over <laughs> and you looked sad. And I you love did you look so sad. Much. Right. Fuck Taylor. You looked sad. You, you looked look distraught. Like, God damn. Like you. And I got a. I got a yeah. sensitive. You know. Yo, wide body Hellcat hips is some of the. Funniest. Nah, wheelchair legs is crazy. Yeah. Wheelchair legs. Wheel, crazy. Wheelchair legs. I like is crazy. alliteration, bro. So you yeah. know, I'm not. I'm not like when you hit when you hit the Hellcat, Hellcat with hips. The hips Ooh. Yeah, that goes. No, that goes. <laughs> All of your cholesterols need to chill Yo, out. Like that's that. cool. But when Yo. you with alliteration, yeah, when alliteration yeah, comes into play, when you say big back brigade, like they stuff like that, they're like, yeah. oh shit, hellcat hips. Yo. You know what I mean? He should have said with your heavy hellcat hips. Mm. Woo, Triple H. You call a <laughs> motherfucker Triple H. Now you're saying something, bro. Yeah, but when you do it Triple K, it's race. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so this race is all of a sudden like, when we try to have fun, when we try to have fun and use some alliteration, <laughs> it's a racist group. Yeah. Y'all are here's so the, unfair. Here's the thing. Y'all are so unfair. And you know, remember, remember last week when we was talking oh, about, we was talking oh, about, God. yo, learn the jokes. Yeah. Because, yo, the reason I like people that can see something and respond with jokes is because you're not taking it that serious. You, yeah. you know I ain't, you know I ain't fat phobic. You know I ain't trying to fucking ruin nobody's life, right? Yeah. I'm gonna show y'all fat phobic. <laughs> watch, watch. <laughs> somebody go. You don't even believe somebody, what he's saying. Here. I'm gonna show y'all because y'all, Wait, y'all what? have forgotten what 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 you used to be. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I ain't even trying to bother nobody no more. Y'all but, keep dragging me into this but shit. When, but there was a time. Oh yeah, and what you mean? <laughs> y'all know me. Pull, y'all seen me? Y'all know how I used, used to, to get, get busy. Busy. You used to get busy. premeditated massacres. Really? How you want it? How you gonna get Serve it? Serve it up. Okay. Ain't ne- Let me tell you something. Let me tell y'all niggas something. I ain't never. <laughs> yeah, 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 let's go. Hold on. Let's I ain't go. never freestyled donkey of the day in my life. <laughs> but. No, ain't no but. I've never freestyled donkey of the day in my life. Meaning? Meaning every single line was meant to fit your soul. Okay, so leave me the fuck alone, man. Oh, so you're saying if you want to go harder on these... No, I did not say that. Wait, what? Please, what? Please, please, what? No, mark that. What did I do? And mark that. Out. What the no, fuck did no, I do? That's not Taylor, what I'm saying. Taylor, no what shit. did I do? I'm just here trying to cheer up my second daughter. <laughs> You know what I mean? You're my second daughter, yeah. Taylor. I'm just trying to cheer more you up. So, more so than the fat shaming, I think it's just about the fact that it's a woman, which I understand. But I also need the record. Who's a woman? Reese's? Reese's yeah. Pieces? Yeah, but I also need the record to show I didn't know she was big. I didn't know she was a woman. I'm listening to that story for the first time. Why are we supposed to assume gender? That is true. Now that's another thing. Like, no, like right. I don't know if you're a woman right. or not. We're not assuming gender. We're gonna we're gonna probably make a look visually. Bro, did you hear the story of the dude named Diego who wanted to fuck? He wanted to be with his bandmate's fiance, so he was slipping his fucking bandmate estrogen and protein shakes Stop because playing. he was trying to make him more feminine and so soft. So his fiance would leave. Yeah, so he could be more. Ma- he, he could come off as I the feel masculine. Like someone's one. been doing that to me. Really. <laughs> Dove? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just feeling more feminine, bro. Because you got a daughter. You oh, close that's to. it? That's it? She's feminizing me? You got damn right. That's, that's exactly Wait, did it work? Did happen. it work? Did he grow titties and shit? And yeah, they say he, start, he, stopped, he stopped growing facial and body hair. Oh, that's crazy. I think he started to grow one titty. <laughs> that's crazy. Mood swings. You got to kill somebody Penis for that. Penis started to shrink. You got to kill somebody for that. I mean, damn, that's just a different level of player hating, right? Because nah. back in the day, it's like you might go to a guy's girl and be like, yo, you know he be fucking around on you, blah, blah, blah. Like, that's old school player hate. This is some new no, shit. No, that's new. No, you no, try no, to no. force somebody to transition? No, that's crazy. And how many smoothies you got to bring them? Like, <laughs> I mean, yeah. Like, what kind of process is this? Yeah. Show? And then, honestly, nowadays, women want that. They women want, want a you feminine to be, man? They want you to be a little softer. Really? You don't think so? I don't Drake know, been the biggest man. rapper in the world for how many years, bro? Yeah, but is he soft? I mean, he's not so, he's got a he's got a, a a quality that women like. He's in tune. Oh, he's with emotionally his divine aware. Feminine. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think being I think being emotionally aware doesn't mean it's just soft. I don't think that makes you soft. This headline, yo. Hardcore. I never heard of this band. Hardcore band. Yo, 
dumped Singer for trying to drug bandmate with estrogen in bizarre plot to steal his fiance. That's crazy. Why you just? I mean, it's weird. Why you just didn't try to fuck his fiance like everybody else? That's disgusting, Charlemagne. Why would you even suggest something like that? Yo, that's foul. Like, oh, I mean, just that's in foul. general, yeah. guys yeah. try to nah, fuck bro. women's girls. Nah, bro. Nah, nah. That's fucked up. Turn him gay said. first, and then you could. Yeah. Turn gay? You got to try to feminize him first. Yo, what if he wasn't trying to do it for the girl? What if he was trying to do it just because he wanted his guy to get more feminine so he could crack those cheeks? That's a possibility. Mm -hmm. That is a possibility. If, at some point, we got to start talking about cock coke sniffing too, man. What? <laughs> what? Cock coke sniffing. What's that? You ain't heard about cock coke sniffing? You use your dick to sniff up yes, the cocaine man. line? People are sniffing lines of coke off people's dicks and getting mad when the lines ain't long enough. Oh, that's... <laughs> yo, make my dick harder. Make my dick longer. That's under you. That's yo. Under we your are in control. some crazy times. Y'all don't even know what's going on. Y'all yeah. worried about me in the big talk, talking about big backs, and there's some really wild shit going on. Right? Yeah. Girls upset. Our dicks are soft. Make it hard, then, dummy. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I'm saying? No, no. Why, is your, why is your dick soft? He, I don't know. He don't mean. Why is he, your mouth empty? You know what I mean? This is a girl. Yeah. Dad, dad. You know what I mean? He's trying to convince himself that he's still a misogynist <laughs> yeah. motherfucker. Can I shoot? Trying to convince Can I himself. shoot though? No, because it's not Can even natural shots. Went, you are a girl, Can dad. I be honest you fighting you? this shit so hard. I see you on the gram. You got your little one on your shoulder, on your chest. You get. Oh, you want to be here right you now? I just want to be holding you. You I just want to go hold it. I'm pussy. I'm so. I'm four deep, bro. Whoa. I got four girls at home. All right? I'm so pussy. Okay? I was trying. Pussy. I was trying, it, bro. You stop fighting it. I was trying to be a massage. It's like I used you to be. You can't do it. No, it's over. It's so what gone. do I do, bro? Lean into being a girl, dad. It's okay. All right, fine, Taylor. I love you. That's it. He's so... He's, Taylor, I love you. Is there anything I can help you with? I believe to you. To be misogynistic. Yeah. It ain't in you no more, bro. The future's female, man. The future's female. Yes. Women could drive. <laughs> what else you want me to say? What else you want me to say about them? It's, they could drive. It's over, bro. You're 40 and you're a girl dad. God Listen to me. Damn, let's Listen go. Me. You're 40. I can't even do hands on my knees on the thought shit anymore. <laughs> yeah, I can't I even do that. I mean, this listen. Y'all saying I can't even do that anymore? Now you understand. Why well, I love doing this podcast every week. Why? Just to come in here and do st <laughs> You know what I'm saying? And to feel like a fucking, fucking idiot. Just for a little bit. I don't want to feel like an idiot man. Just for a little bit. This is fit. my opportunity. This is when I get to come in and just be an idiot man. So that's what then we got we to gotta hold on to our misogyny just for no, one no, little no, bit. No, 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 no. They can't be. We just be idiot men. We don't have to be misogynistic. But sometimes a little you bit. Gotta break some of the brilliance in it, too. We got to be a little misogynistic. Nah, we don't have, you don't have no room for it. Oh, just a tiny <laughs> yeah, little bit. You know why? You know, we don't have no room for it, yo. Why our, not? The future is female, bro. You got a daughter, bro. You got a daughter. Nah, you right. It is so cool. You got cool. a daughter. You got a daughter and a beautiful wife, man. Yeah, you right. You know what I'm saying? It is female. The future is female. I mean, the future is always female, because without females, we ain't got no future. Without, For the time being. Without males, you ain't got no future, dude? Nah, because so enough. they got enough sperm stored. Oh, you think so? They, they don't really, really don't need, need They don't really need us. <laughs> <laughs> they do, and they, they want to like open a jar, weak Son, come on. Wait, what? I got a little left in me, bro. I still got a little, yo, I still got like a guy who just got a vasectomy. He got to get these 20 nuts out. Let me get these 20 nuts out so I know I'm good. <laughs> That's what it is. I got some left in the chamber. I just need to get it out of my system, Taylor. Oh, my God. I need to get it out of my system. I have like 20 more of those jokes, and then I'm a perfect... Uh, what is it called oh, when oh. when a guy uh, oh, likes man. likes women and stuff? <laughs> what is that called? Ally? A straight person? Cuck, I think. No, cuck. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. Then I'm going to be a Democrat. Can I tell you a joke? <laughs> yes, tell us What's a joke. What's the joke, Taylor? Okay. Send us what, do you call, what do you call it when uh, two fat people are having a chat? Now, see, here's the you thing. See? You see how women do? That's Me, crazy. Now, we've already come to the That's conclusion crazy. that we shouldn't be doing I'm, this type this of stuff. Wait, when two fat she people are having what? a what? What is it? Having a chat. When two fat people are having a chat. Yeah. What don't, do you call it? Don't, don't say it. I want to guess. Okay. When two fat people <laughs> are having a chat. Mm -hmm. Chattel. <laughs> that's, a, no. that's 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 kind of crazy. Um, um, what is it? What is it? When two fat, fat people? Chat? No, no. When two fat people are having a chat, M and M's. No. Damn, I'm usually good at these. 
two fat people are having a chat. By the way, this came from Taylor. So don't you fucking take take this clip and take it out of context and say that I'm on here fashion. <laughs> this came from Taylor motherfucking Hayes. Okay? Damn, I Taylor government. made it on Instagram. All right? Yup. What is it called? What, what is, is it? it? A heavy discussion. Jesus Christ. I like that. It's <laughs> I'm proud of you. I like that. I'm proud of you and I love you. Also, man, nobody talks enough. And this is the struggle of being born in 1978. Oh, my God. Nobody talks about how when we were children, mm. everything was about your mama fat jokes. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Your mama's so fat. That's what I'm saying. Fat b Remember that one? <laughs> Still got 19 left. 19 left in the chamber. I got 19 left in the motherfucking chamber. Oh, is the da, da. Let's go. <laughs> keeping that in. And we're keeping all the other ones in. Just bleep them. Oh, just bleep them, man. Just bleep them. But no, we really came up off. <laughs> what just happened right now? Fat jokes. Yeah, fat jokes. What was your favorite fat joke when you were younger? Obviously, you wouldn't say it now because it's insensitive. No, I don't. To be honest, with you, I don't remember them because like they actually were actually silly ass dad jokes back then. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like they were. Ugh. Your mom was be, so fat. Your mom was so fat. She 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 bleeds Rocky Road ice cream. Silly shit like that. You know what I mean? Took her two hours to watch 60 Minutes. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 stupid. She was too dumb. Yeah. Your mom was so yeah, your mom's so stupid. It took her two hours to watch 60 Minutes. No, it was stupid. I, yeah. I, I, I mom always... was so fat she stepped on the Skittles and rainbows came out. So I'm sure that's, that's fire. That's fire. Bro, I remember uh, never mind. Your mom is so what's poor the ducks remember? throw bread at her. I remember there was that. <laughs> that's good. That's good. That's I good. remember uh, your mom's cooking so nasty. The house flies got together to fix the hole in the window screen. I remember a big back person in our school used to wear a Phoenix Suns jacket. Oh yeah, I love this story. And the jacket, I love the this Phoenix story. Suns jacket was oh, yeah. was had you know it was, she was, it was big, so yeah. she had Phoenix you used Suns to jacket. orbit around her, didn't Bro, you? We used to be like, let's go to tomorrow and walk around, walk around oh, her in a circle. <laughs> That's a bad Jehovah's Witness, bro. It was That's so mean. Oh, That's so mean. No, Let's go hey, to tomorrow. You think, but here's the thing. Let's go to tomorrow. <laughs> Let's go to tomorrow. But here's the thing. <laughs> Let's go to tomorrow is actually really Dude. funny. Here's the thing. That's really clever for your there age. Was yeah, no, really there, listen, there, when I say there was no breaks for us in school, it wasn't bullying because everybody had them jokes. Yeah. You think that that person... Mad? Or he... No, nah, they was calling they him was coming shit. back at us with everything. Yeah. And it was and everything was a go. Yeah, but at least my parents didn't get evicted. You know what I mean? Y'all yeah. just lost y'all trailer. Your daddy smoked crack. Whoa! That's yeah, that's like guess what? Boom, 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 boom. You get back what you put out. Leave people the fuck alone. So I don't ever be upset about anything people say in response to anything that I say, because however you take it is how you take it and the feeling that you get. Is what you get, and you respond according to that feeling. Like, like I, I literally spent. I was on the phone today. With who? I don't want to say the person's name. It's my guy, though. Big back? No, 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 no. Little back? Former, former. But reformed he, he, big back. Former big back. But they were trying to explain to me why they were upset about something. Not even something that I said. You know what I'm saying? Like something, something somebody else said. And honestly, we were on text, and the person had to call me because. Even though I got what they were saying, I didn't understand why they were so upset about it. But and, you know, but, it, you but here's the thing: it's not my place to tell them what they should be upset about. Can you tell us what the context of this conversation is about? Nah, because it'll give it all away. But it's like, just, just, just know in general, you can't tell somebody <laughs> how to react to something. She's that the perfect. This is demo. She's perfect. That offends them. Mm. You know what I mean? I wish you would just tell us what offended them. It don't matter. It, 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 it really honestly doesn't matter. Is it me, a weight thing? Does it have to do with weight? No, it didn't have anything to do with weight. Uh. But to me, it's, to me, it was nothing. And I was just like, I don't, I don't get yeah. why you're so upset. But then I had to t tell myself, like, that's not my place to tell this person why, how to react. Yeah. Like, the, the way they feel is how they feel. Yeah, but you it know? is also fun to do that. Fun to do it. Tell people how to react. I mean, that's what social media does. Yeah. Every single day. Y'all motherfuckers do not even know how to be feeling about something. Yo, I had somebody that was mad mad at me hmm. over the big back comments 
because of what T.S. Madison said, only to find out T.S. Madison was joking and hit me the next day and be like, oh, man, I didn't know she was joking. You were so fake outraged. Oh, yeah. That's... The day before. Mm. As soon as you heard her say she was joking, now you're going to be... And I... I when, when she, when I'm the... surprised you got hit up the next day saying, I'm sorry to know she was joking. It might have been last night. I, I saw it this morning. But... I'm just saying, usually people just neglect to acknowledge when they're wrong. Yeah, that's true. I mean, they didn't necessarily acknowledge that they were wrong. They just acknowledged that the person was joking. You know that the T.S. Madison was joke. What I'm saying is it's it's oftentimes that people are just emotional, are going to lash out, yeah. and they're going to gravitate towards whatever satisfies their feelings. And then once they find out that that thing was completely a false, fake narrative yeah. just created by the internet, yeah. they just move on to the next move thing. On to the next they thing. never come back to you and go, oh, my bad. I didn't realize that I was manipulated. That's why I'm telling everybody. I told Mandy the same thing. I'm like, yo, I told Mandy, everybody, I told, told Jeff, everybody. Nobody's going to care about this by Friday. Why, they were beefing? <laughs> yes. What over what? I, I just I did not say that. Or maybe I wasn't talking off air. Mm, it was off air. No, it wasn't. What were they beefing about? He, no, he mentioned it, it, but not really. Okay. You didn't go into detail. Mandy and Weezy had somebody on their podcast somehow or another. The stuff about Jess came back up about Jess being transphobic. Mandy said she does think Jess is transphobic and Jess doesn't like that because none of us like being labeled no. shit that is dangerous. Why do that to us? And why why did she say that she was transphobic? Because of that old but, shit. Yeah, okay, yeah, but that shit from last no, year. A, like, she didn't like, she felt that Mandy was um, basically being fake to her. Like, Yeah, because, I mean, they apparently had a con. Oh, man, I'm not talking about women business. Yeah. Right, like, yo, 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 if you ain't been following the story, you ain't been following the story. Just know I want everybody to get along. Okay? This shit is silly at the end of the day. But, but, but also, we don't have to get along either. Yeah, that that let's is also. Let's just not hurt each other. Let's not hurt each other. Because everybody can. Everybody got nukes. But what if somebody's hurting themselves? Mm. Do Explain. we just allow them to hurt themselves? Explain. Mm. I mean, what if somebody's doing something that's dangerous to themselves? They're you. <laughs> you're a real piece of shit. What am I? <laughs> you're really, you're really, you're really, you're a real piece. Of shit. Why? You're, you're a real piece of shit. Why? You know what you're doing. You know what you're doing. What are you talking about? You know what you're doing. You know what you're doing. I'm not doing anything. Oh, you know what you're doing. I'm not doing anything. You know what you're doing. I don't even know what you're talking about. Doing. Girl, dad. The only thing. I, Girl, dad. Andrew. I, I will end this segment by saying that. I have come up with an idea, and that idea is to either partner with 24-Hour Fitness, Planet Fitness, somebody, and I'm going to get gift cards, okay? I'm going to get gift cards for free gym memberships, you know, mm -hmm. uh, and I'm going to have an Unbig Your Back campaign. Unbig Your, your back, back campaign. For this spring into summer. Unbig. Unbig Your Back campaign. It should just be for spring. Why? So the summertime... Well, I want you to keep. I want you to keep the weight off, but you know, because that was another conversation I had yesterday. A lot of people was telling me like, "Yo, they like." There's people telling me that they would love to do the surgery. They'd love to afford Ozempic. They'd love to, you know, be able to get more time to go to the gym. So maybe if you know, you get the gift cards and give them out to people. It'll give people motivation. Now you're actually supporting the cause. There you go. There you go. Also, just eating healthy. Whoa. It what is. Whoa. Now you're making too much sense over there, <laughs> yeah. Taylor. You're making too much sense. You're acting like it's their choice to be fat. Is that what you're trying to say? I saw you today, Taylor. I saw you the past couple of days on your diet shit. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. You did lose weight. I... You did. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to say nothing to him. Why? All I'm saying is I've been on a no-carb diet, and you see the change without even going to the gym. That's what I'm saying. I said you lost weight. I said you look skinnier. I've been going to the gym, too, though. So thanks. Okay. How am I in trouble? Yeah, and I know. I like, because I just started. <laughs> That's why. So you shouldn't even have mentioned it. <laughs> What's going on right now? Did I do the did I do something wrong here? Is this what it's like having daughters when they're older? Is this the mind fuck that is gonna be my it's life the when they're fuck. older? It is. When I tell you it's Hey all sweetheart, the you look fuck. beautiful. It's but I'm all, going it's to the gym. All of mine fuck. Really? Bro. It's all of mine fuck. That's all it is. You gotta learn how to take compliments from daddy. <laughs> yo, you really gotta <laughs> learn how to take compliments. Yo, salute daddy, to Trinidad yo. James. Yo, Trinidad James, you know women call him dad for short. Fire. That's so fucking That's fire. fire. That's fire. We had money long on, and she was like, shout out to dad. I'm like, dad. Dad? <laughs> dad. <laughs> she said, Trinidad, so we call him dad for short. I'm like, wow. wow. That's fire. That is fire. You should call me dad. 
You have nowhere in your name has dad in or anything else. What? So what? <laughs> I have a father. That's that's father. And I call him dad. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's my guy. You can call me father. Stop. I said, your dad Yo. ain't my guy. Why no, you clearly, this? no. Nah, it's crazy. It's crazy. We can't even love lucky you. Lucky I haven't introduced him to you because he'll fuck you up. I've spoken whoa. to your dad before. Whoa, whoa. Yo, have you? Yes. Yeah, you have. Cave your head. You're lucky you were on the phone. I spoke. You're your, lucky you're on the phone. Your dad said, "Thank you're you for looking your out phone. for my daughter and my wife." I said, "No, he did not. No, he did not. No, he did not. No, he did not." Always I mind on my father. Always. Always. I mind on my father. <laughs> Come on, son. That's what my daughter. My daughter respects her daddy, man. That shit is respect. No, that shit is respect. I am a daddy's girl. I can tell. You want. You want. But why don't you like your mom? Yeah, why don't I you stick up mom. for your mom? Like you that. never stick up with your mom. I don't stick up for my mom. Are you I'm kidding not me? Like not once. That. Not like that. I Keep my dad's name you out your me? mouth. Taylor treats her mom very well. What? Yeah, but she don't stick up for her. Taylor, mom. What are you talking about? Taylor about? makes sure her mom gets what she wants. What does she want? For me to eat her pie. Taylor makes sure. I mean. Stop playing with me. Do you mean? Stop playing with me. Because honestly, she's not even making no more pies. So, <laughs> what? For, for, and honestly, actually, for actually, she did tell me what she to, said to uh, tell you. Oh, uh -huh. um, uh -huh. talking about like with Trump and everything like that. If yeah. you don't like vote for him, you pussy. No, if you do vote for him. That you're there's the no man. more podcast. Why do people think I'm voting for Trump? Because <laughs> you're smart. <laughs> what the fuck? Is <laughs> why would she? Why would your mother ever think that? Because you're a smart, not gay guy. How many times have I said <laughs> Trump is a threat to democracy? She did, she won, she How many did. times yo, have fuck I called democracy, him a fascist? yo? Fuck it. How many Bitcoin's times have I called at 64 him a grand? Here's the thing. Let's, Thanks to Biden. You know yo, shout out to Biden though. Yeah, actually, no, right? shout out to Biden, we bro. Pay some bills and we're gonna talk Let's about pay this. some motherfucking yeah. bills, pay some man. Bills and talk about before this. I gotta slap somebody. Let's pay. I gotta pee. All right, guys, let's take a break for a second, okay? Because listen, this episode is brought to you by spring cleaning for your balls or your pussy. Damn, that sounded like very serious. But the reality is that vaginas also get a lot of hair around them, the scrapples. And uh, we need to clean it up. But I think Manscaped is probably the best for the balls and cock region. It's going to save you so much time. If you're out there, you're switching between the buzzers and the razors and all this other nonsense. Manscaped has you looking pristine, clean. Yeah, you wanted that extra hair during winter. It gets a little cold down there. But with spring coming, you need to do a little spring cleaning. Get that balls and dick ready because it's going to take a battering come spring and summer this spring and summer is going to be the most i think the most fucking any of y'all are going to do so have your dick looking good okay and this season's champ right now is the lawnmower 5.0 ultra okay the fifth generation trimmer it got the two uh interchangeable next gen skin safe blade heads a standard one for taking a little off the top and a new Foil blade to go smooth wherever your heart desires. It is incredible. You need it's also got the LED spotlights to guide you through the darkest winter debris. Navigate with confidence in your delicate areas. And listen, you hate making a mess, not to worry. This bad boy is waterproof. Shave it in the shower. Do it in the shower. Do it in the shower. Do it in the shower. Okay. My point is, it's absolutely incredible. Incredible. So let's just get to the deal. Let's just get to the deal. Right now, you get 20% off and free shipping with the code idiots at manscaped.com. That's 20% off and free shipping with the code idiots at manscaped.com. Nothing like a little spring cleaning in your pants. Yes, the Brilliant Idiots today is also brought to you by Prize Picks. Prize Picks is America's number one fantasy sports app with over 3 million members. It's the easiest and most exciting way to play DFS. It's just you against the numbers. You pick more than or less than on two six player stats projections and watch the winnings roll in it's demon time on prize picks you can now win up to 100 times your money with as little as four correct picks you can turn ten dollars into a thousand dollars demons and goblins are the newest and most exciting way to play at prize picks squares marked with red demons or green goblins get you different payouts you can now win up to 100 times your money with as little as four correct picks okay prize picks is really simple to play i can make my picks and submit my entry in less than 60 seconds quick withdrawals easy gameplay and an enormous selection of players and stat types are what make prize picks the number one daily fantasy sports app all right 
Now, go to prizepicks.com slash idiots and use code idiots for a first deposit. Match up to $100. That's prizepicks.com slash idiots and code idiots for a first deposit match of up to $100. Prize picks, pick more, pick less. It's that easy. Let's get back to the show. Shows, you got church announcements? I do, man. We just announced a bunch more uh, more shows for the Life Tour. Um, so go to theandrewshows.com right now. Depending on when this comes out, the pre-sale will be on. You use my name, Andrew, for that. And uh, we're coming out there to Vancouver, Seattle, Spokane. We got San Diego. We got Atlantic City. Uh, a bunch more places. Go check those out right now on my website, theandrewshows.com. Get those tickets before they are gone. Get them before the bots go get them, and then they resell them to you, and then... Yeah, and then they try to make them way more expensive. We try to make sure the tickets are affordable so you guys can be at the shows. And thank you guys so much for everybody who already went and got those tickets. I love y'all, and I can't wait for you to see this hour. Um, this is by far my my favorite my favorite hour that I've ever put together, and definitely the most meaningful. And uh, talking thank you about guys. your family. So, yeah, man, trying to yes, yeah, it's, it's that story, man. Of trying to trying to make a family, which is very very difficult for us, but. Uh, but yeah, I'm excited for y'all to see that. You gotta let them know this might be your last like hour of misogyny. Yeah, I, yeah. I mean, I make sure to have some in it. Yeah, yeah, little sprinkles. You got to because otherwise these women get too confident and they they think they could achieve things. <laughs> you should want your daughter to think she can achieve anything she wants no, to achieve. No, my daughter can achieve anything she wants, but other people's <laughs> daughters need to. You know what I mean? This guy they need to so recognize that alpha male something that don't even exist. You know what I mean? The alpha males. Listen, that doesn't exist. Don't you like alpha it's males? Not, alpha I do, but if not if you got to tell me you're an alpha male, you're not an alpha male. Wait, are you telling me? Are you telling me that the guys that brag about them being alpha males all the time They're might actually not good. actually be alphas? <laughs> Wait, is that what you're yeah, saying? If you got to announce me? that, if you got to tell everybody, like, and yeah. by the way, just because you say it, it don't make you one. Yeah. All right. You can identify as an alpha all you want. You're still a bitch. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Whoa! Hey. Damn, bro. Hey. Now you saying it? A little beta bitch. Now you saying it? <laughs> you a little beta bitch. Yeah. A little beta bitch. I don't even know what beta means. What does beta mean? What? Yo, I love it. This is what I love. <laughs> what is beta this mean? is what I, I love. I just know. What, I like I think I, saying I think I, bitch. I think I was right though. You are right. I think oh I was right. God. What is beta mean? Pull up the definition of beta real quick, Taylor. Before beta I continue. means gets tons of pussy. No, <laughs> no <beta>. at the. <laughs> It means what is beta something mean? or Yo. someone designated with the name beta or the Greek letter. All right. Denoting the second. Taylor, 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 Taylor. Taylor. So it just means a pussy. That's not uh, what I'm Okay, That's so what, it what does beta mean? A subordinate male animal in any particular group. Yeah, yeah, you little beta bitch. Woo! Yeah, exactly. Now, Ooh. Ooh. I got three announcements, maybe two. I might save the third one. But oh, this wow. right here, uh, Alice Randall. This is an advanced copy, advanced readers of edition of My Black Country, A Journey Through Country Music's Black Past, Present, and Future. Salute to uh, Beyonce, who has the number one song in the country right now. Uh, she dethroned uh, Jack Harlow. Okay, so she had the number one record on the country charts last week. This week, she got the number one record in the country. Uh, everybody's having these conversations about black country music. Alice Randall, this is divine. This is divine for this to be coming out uh, on April 9th via my book imprint, Black Privilege Publishing with Simon & Schuster. Once again, a journey through country music's black past, present, and future. Go pre-order this now. I do not want y'all this spring and summer singing along to Beyonce's country album, but, but, but not know anything about country music. So if you want to have a fast-tracked uh, crash course in black country history, Black Country Music History, My Black Country by Alice Randall is your book. Um, maybe I should wait till next week. Wait, 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 wait. It's next one. What do you mean? Nah, fuck it. I'll do it. I'll do two more. I got two more big announcements. Okay. Uh, right now, as I speak, uh, by, the, by the time this comes out, my third book will be available for pre-order. Wow. Okay. Wow. Right. So, yeah. It's called um, It's called Get Honest or Die Lying Woo! Why Small Talk Sucks uh, Because I hate small talk uh, Not just this type of small talk where people come up to you And try to make conversation with you But just like sitting around Discussing a bunch of micro issues Like we make a lot of micros, macros In this era that we're in man So this book uh, for me Is giving you permission to 
not engage and indulge in the small talk. And if you don't know how to have macro conversations, I have a bunch of different topics in the book that you can speak on. You know what I'm saying? So all my favorite things, uh, of course, you know, entertainment, pop culture, you know, mental health, um, politics, like all of those things are in this book. So get honest or die line. Let's go. Why small talk sucks. Let's it's send it available. up to number one. It's available for pre-order right now. Everywhere Yo. you buy books. Um, Brilliant idiots. Let's run it up. Okay. Hey, go I, out there, get these goddamn books, pre-order that I, shit. Let's make this go number one. I would appreciate that. And uh my last church announcement is Saturday, April 27th. The second annual Black Effect Podcast Festival is back Let's in go. Atlanta, Georgia at Pullman Yards. Last year it was hosted by myself and my good sister, Jess Larius. This year it's hosted by B-Dot and Pretty V. Soundtrack provided by my guy, Louis V. And our featured podcast, we got Wallow and Gilly. Okay. We got horrible decisions, Mandy and Wheezy. We got Jess Hilarious. We're carefully reckless. We're going to keep them apart. <laughs> you know, we're going to, it's going to be total time differences, all right? We got Poor Minds Podcast, Lex and Drea. We got Deeply Well with Debbie Brown. We got Black Tech Green Money with Will Lucas. And we got the Baller Alert Show hitting that stage. Plus, we got, you know, specialty panels, you know, different panels about business and all types of other stuff. So we will see you Saturday, April 27th. Tickets are on sale now at blackeffect.com slash podcast festival. Go to Eventbrite, wherever you buy tickets, but you can go to blackeffect.com slash podcast festival. You know, it sold out last year. We know it's going to sell out again this year. So we will see you Saturday, April 27th. Second annual Black Effect Podcast Festival, Pullman Yards in Atlanta, blackeffect.com slash podcast festival, Eventbrite, to go get your tickets right now. Now, let's get back to the show. What we got, man? All right. Do we have by any means necessary, yeah. sweetheart? Here we're doing <laughs> Here we're Why do you laugh it. when I say that? Can <laughs> I not be <laughs> loving? Salute like... to Cam Newton, man. <laughs> For Cam. fucking those dudes up? I mean, here's the thing. You know, everybody makes, not, not making jokes, but everybody's talking about how Cam Newton handled himself and everything else, and they're right. Cam did handle himself. But also, that's a very dangerous situation. And it's a type of dangerous situation because Cam Newton was at his seven-on-seven -seven football camp, minding his business, and there was police there, there's clearly security there, and those dudes still felt like they could get that off. But why did they try to do that to him? I have no idea. I've heard so many was... different stories. I don't know what the fuck is true. What were they saying? They were saying that Cam started it, that he was talking shit to them. But why would they even? Why would he even talk shit to them? Because it's his he goddamn does, football yeah. camp. <laughs> I don't know if that's true or not, but I mean, I that's also what heard football players said though. I heard him say that. I heard him. He did an interview with JoJo, and I heard him say that. But I also heard that so it was something to do with Cam breaking up a fight with some coaches. I don't know what the fuck happened. All I know is. The fact that they thought they could get this off at his football event. It's kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy. And yo, what if what if one of these dudes would have had a knife? Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Like, and Damn. it's also hilarious. Have you ever met Cam Newton? No. Cam Newton. It's huge. Huge. Yeah. That's a big man. Like, 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 I'm like, God damn, you used to play quarterback? Yeah. Cam is like 6'6". Six, six, looks like a tight end. 240. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. He's built like Gronk. Yeah. He might be bigger. Yeah. He, I'm not even joking. He might be bigger than Gronk. How big is Gronk? Mm. He might be bigger than Gronk and Kelsey and all of them. Yeah. So the fact that you thought that you could run down on Cam Newton is insane to me. Gronk 6'6", six, six also. About the same height. 6'6"? Six, six? Yeah. All right, and what size? Weight. Oh, I didn't pull that one up. We'll pull up his weight in penis graph. Uh, yeah, he's 265. 265? Yeah. Yeah, and that's him now. I wonder if he, wonder if he played at 265. What's the circumference? Two inches. Okay, but yeah, that, this was this was a lot. I, I just I want Cam to have an offensive line in real life. Yeah, like he needed some secure. Like nobody should feel like they should be able to do that shit to you, yo. Yeah, that's fine. like at all. Like not even a little bit. But shout out to his hat. But his stupid hat it ain't fall off. Didn't fucking move. Nah, at that's fine. Why would you think that it will fall off though? It's a, it's a hat. hat. Because his, no, but his hair is in the middle of it. No, but look, girl's his hair crazy. is in the middle. His crazy. hair is clearly in the middle but of this it. This girl's crazy. The right? hair is clearly in the middle of it, making it stick. But why are you there. so crazy? Though? Nah, I've seen people wear hats like that and it still can get knocked off. Back in the day, everybody yeah. used to cut. They used to cut holes in the middle of their fitted caps. He made a good hole. They had dreads. He what? He made a good hole. I've no cause. He made a good hole. Yeah, for his. What are you, a plastic surgeon? <laughs> 
What you doing now? Yeah. You building these cyborg pussies? <laughs> <laughs> you made it sound like... <laughs> What the hell, Taylor? He made a good hole. <laughs> Yo, what makes a good hole, Taylor? I hate it here. Taylor, what makes a good hole? You know that's being said. No, nah, what makes you a good hole, Taylor? You know that's been said by a plastic surgeon, too. That's a good hole. But can you <laughs> tell us what makes a good... Tell us what makes a good hole, Taylor. What makes a good hole? When it comes to hole? what Cam did with his hat, yeah. So yeah. his locks could... Brief. Keep his hat to, yeah. <laughs> like it's So you're not gonna give him any credit for keeping his hat on during that fight. I think it wasn't gonna ever uh, fall off. Also, also I feel the, like it's, also it's the fact he's tall, he's so much taller than his eye. assailants. Exactly. It yeah. was nothing, there was no wind <laughs> threatening that hat. You know what I mean? Yeah. Shoot the can. What else we got, Taylor? Oh, the Trump shit. Yeah. Oh, the, the sneakers? The sneakers, I, here's the thing. I don't <laughs> I forgot who it was on Fox News. Who was the guy? I gave him donkey today too. But oh yeah, he's what like, he black said, people love sneakers. It, it, yes, but forget all of that. That's silly. Yeah, he said Trump is a master of culture. Yeah, oh, and he said Trump yeah. understands culture better than any politician, probably ever. Yeah, and he's probably right. Of course, with the exception of maybe like three other presidents: Barack, Barack, Bill, Bill. Historically, Barack, yeah, Bill. I'm talking about had your finger on, on the, the pulse? pulse of what was going on in America at the time, on the on the finger on the pulse. Because Barack, here's the thing: when you when you're a president and you can get mass majority of people to come out and vote for you, you have your finger on the finger on the pulse. To me, it's three, maybe four. Man, that I think about it: Trump, Obama, Clinton, Reagan, okay, and JFK. Yeah, JFK had that. That's what I'm saying. And you know, you might people might people don't want to mention Reagan. Reagan definitely had his Wait, pulse. why? What was Reagan doing that was so effective? He just tapped into everything that Trump is currently tapping into uh, now. <laughs> you know what I mean? God. He absolutely did. And um I think that's where Democrats lose the messaging battle. They lose the messaging battle because they don't understand the language of politics today. Forget Trump sneakers. Trump only did this to get these computers, Putin. Mm. He only did this to get motherfuckers talking. Yeah. And it worked in yeah. every single way. What president goes to sneaker con? Yeah. But you should. Yeah. If you're running for president, you shouldn't leave no stone unturned. You should go every motherfucking place. Yeah. He went to sneaker con, and people got mad at me when I said this, but this is what I was attempting to say, but you motherfuckers don't listen, so let me spell it out for you. He had everybody talking about this shit all week long. Joe Biden, Vice President Harris, they did things last week. Mm. They did actual things that impacted policy and legislation. Like, they did some, some good things. Can you name them? Mm. I had a conversation with some people, man, because <clears throat> I was talking to people on the left, left media. And I was saying to them that what Fox News does so well is if I do an interview, right, right right now I'm talking, I can say this sentence right here. I think Donald Trump is a threat to democracy. You know, this guy led an attempted coup of this country. And everybody just acts like it was a, you know, a, 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 a bunch out, of kids party. wild in that spring break in Florida, right? Yeah, sure was. And then I can say, but Joe Biden is an uninspiring candidate who has no main character energy. Fox is going to take that. Yeah. They're going to take the Joe Biden clip. And they're going to amplify it. And they're going to play it over and over and over on their network. Instead of the left taking the first part of what I said and amplifying it on their network, those idiots respond to what Fox, Fox said. said yeah. mm. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah, then but, yeah. and then that's where these conversations happen where Taylor's mom thinks I'm going to vote for Trump. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Or, or these brilliant political scientists <sighs> can go on these platforms yeah. and say things like, Charlemagne is a threat to democracy and Killer Mike is a threat to democracy. All people, you're not, y'all yeah. aren't listening. Yeah. And y'all are actually, as, as smart as you, you all are, the academics that you all are, you're losing the culture war too. Yeah, the tricky thing is that um, the media has its own objective, right? It's just to get views. But the media also serves the, the government in a lot of ways, especially the traditional media. And 
it feels as if the media does not want Trump to win, but they're okay with Nikki Haley win, winning on both sides. Like, I think Democrats are totally okay if there's a establishment politician in there. Either it's Biden, it's Nikki Haley, I don't know who else would actually run. Their fear is definitely Trump. And it's because all the people who eat, and they eat real good, they eat off of the decisions made by the establishment. They might not be able to eat the same way when you have a political outsider like Trump out there. Now, Trump might make all the same decisions that the establishment made, but it's just another layer of insecurity. You know, if you're the military industrial complex in America and you know that Congress is going to keep on giving you billions of dollars to make weapons because they're not giving that money to Ukraine, they're giving it to us here in America to make weapons, you don't want a president's going to come in here and stop the war. You're like, yo, we made a trillion dollars worth of weapons. Don't don't fuck this up for us. Trump ain't going to stop no war, though. But, but the like, fact that he potentially saying. could and he's, he's saying, saying it, it yeah. makes them go... Whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on over here? Wait till he offer reparations. Hmm. That's going to be the next thing. You think he's going to do it? Yes. It's an election year. Oh, wow. Like, watch. He going, I, I can see Trump saying, I'm, black people deserve reparations. Y'all going to get it under me. I don't think you do. I don't think you give them sneakers and reparations. It's one or the other. Man, shut the fuck up. <laughs> you don't need to do both for black people to vote for you. Black people are already on board with Trump. I don't By know. Way, that's I don't know one black person not voting for Trump. That's a yes, lie. You you just who? Oh. who? Taylor voting for Trump I'm twice. Definitely not. <laughs> Taylor voting for Trump, Trump twice. twice. You know what's so interesting about the sneakers, though? What? People thinking sneakers, sneakers and sneaker culture are just a black thing is in itself racist. And I ain't talking about people on Fox News. I'm talking about you motherfuckers that are black saying stupid shit like this. Like, sneaker culture is sneaker culture. I fat think Joe sneaker fat. culture is, is inspired by black culture. I don't think it is specifically black. I think they're like certain places that care more about sneakers than others. For example, New York. Sneaker culture is really the New York biz, culture. I'm talking, when I say, I'll be honest with you, it's really New York culture. When I say sneaker culture, I'm talking about the business of it. Even Me, even the culture of it, because there's so many sneakers that are popular right now that are based on skateboarding. There's so many sneakers that are popular that are not just like a traditional basketball shoe. But sneaker culture is a place where you walk around your sneakers. Are. Like L.A. or California got no sneaker culture because you're in your car all the time. In New York, that's our car. Yeah. So we care about sneakers more than any other place. Because y'all so, walking. That's the only way that we could flex. Listen, I said this on Burgers Club last week because I was trying to explain that, yo, just because a person gets Donald Trump sneakers, it don't mean that they support Trump. I said, yo, you're going to have some sneakerheads. I said this last week, and Angela Rye got mad at me, but I said, you're going to have some sneakerheads out there mm -hmm. that are going to get that $399 sneaker. The resale value is $2,500. One guy bought a pair for nine grand. Yo, wow. think about it. Crazy. If you buy sneakers, <laughs> do you support sweatshop labor? No, you just want sneakers that are fire. So if you think that Those sneakers fire, fire, say again. Hey, yo, no, to, to your point, sneakerheads love sneakers that look good. That's it. But they love sneakers that have great retail value. Dang. That shit was twenty four hundred last week. It's four thousand this week. Let's yeah. go, Trump. Now that's a great foot. Let's go, Unc. Everybody got mad at Fat Joe. Why? Right. Play, play the clip. Why did he tell people he had the shoe? There you go. <laughs> now the mayor's gonna call. Everybody's gonna call. They say, you wildin' out, Joe. Why you got the trunk? Look, me is the first one. Joe, you... I'm a sneaker collector. I don't know what none of these guys did. I collect sneakers. The rarer, the better. No, I didn't pay for these sneakers. Sorry. I didn't pay for these things. They knew I had to have them. Because I'm the biggest in the game. I mean, what world do we live in? Where he can have a record label called Terror Squad that is promoting gangster rap music and he has to apologize for buying the sneakers of the 45th president of the United States of America. He didn't, yeah, he definitely didn't apologize. I mean, there's nothing to He's apologize. He's copping, please. I didn't pay for him. I didn't, if you explain it, you're losing, yo. But but you you said it first. I, I, he, he didn't even have to do the video. 
because why because, even bring more attention because, to it? Because it, it, you, you don't support Trump. So being that you don't support Trump, yo, Joe, don't do the we video. love you, Joe. Love it's, all, it's okay if you're on Team, uh, you know, Donald. He's not on Team Donald. Nah, it's okay. Fat bro. Joe is a notorious sneakerhead. He's yeah. a sneaker collector, and, and he's, he's right. really good at picking presidents. They only made like 400 <laughs> of these sneakers, I think. Yeah. So the rarer the better, like he said. And them shit is going for 4,500 in resale value, bro. That's all I'm saying. Like, he don't like, need the money. Like we just got. Exactly. Gotta, he every, don't even need I'm it. with you, but it's an addiction when you're a sneakerhead. He don't need the money, I'm bro. I'm with you, but it's an addiction. I'm not making no excuses. I'm just saying it's an addiction. I can understand it, bro. This, I, this is what I want us to start he being able to do. He Donnie. Man, shut if up. If you man. love Donnie, shut up. You gonna do it? Don't l- listen. What's wrong with that? Fat Joe. Yeah. And Terror Squad. Yeah. They not to be played. I I just said that. I believe that they're not no, to be no, played with. No, no, no. He's gonna think you playing. Listen, Joseph. He's gonna have to walk Joseph, up to you and tell you Joseph, that listen. he does not support Donald Trump. Let me tell you something. Yeah. I know that you don't play. I know no. that you could do whatever you want to do. I also know that you're an incredibly wealthy, wealthy, successful man that would love a nice little Uncle Donnie T tax break. You know why, Joe? You, you know why Joe is a wealthy man? Cause he sees a good deal, three ninety nine mm. going for four thousand. Yeah. That's an appreciating asset. Yeah, but he's gonna he's gonna save so much more when Uncle Donnie T man, shut up man. becomes president. Does four thousand even mean anything to Fred Joe though? That's what I'm trying to say. Yo, that guy's so successful, is a flip. And rich. Why but, are you counting people's pockets? Exactly. The same way how you why you do people's pockets. Why you don't know what Joe, you don't know what Joe got going the on? The same way why you count people's pockets is what we're saying. Yeah, but he's though. a collector. He's not he's a going collector. to. Resell it. Yo, Who tell, gives tell, a tell fuck? Don't let, them the the ra- what is, why? don't let them talk to you like that. He's the yo. rarest of the rare. Don't let them talk to you like that. If you say, I, think, Don, I, I feel like, like it's I, silly, I, I though. I feel, I feel like it's silly because he didn't have to promote it. You say morals. What's immoral about what he did? Wait, you think that's If he immoral? goes, if he's against, I'm not going to buy something if I don't support the person. He didn't buy it. You got it for free. But why even promote it? I agree with that. Because he knows but, but, that Uncle but, but, Donnie T should be president of the United States again. But you said it's immoral. I wonder what he, why is it immoral? Here's I, the thing, man. I think it's unethical is what you meant. It's not immoral. I don't even know unethical. if it's unethical. I just know that we live like, in It's world. not breaking a moral law or code. Yeah. No, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying if it's not good. In, inconsistent. To say the least. Okay. Yeah. The, thing, the, the wildest thing about all Damn, this Why shit, are you angry at me? I'm trying to help I'm you. I'm not angry. <laughs> You're always angry at me, oh yo. God. Is something going on? Oh, my God. The wildest thing about all of this shit, Love though, you. is that everybody is acting like we're in normal times. That One thing that we need to talk about in America is how America can really act like some shit is normal when we know it's not. When the apocalypse happens, ain't shit going to change. Yeah. We're going to keep doing whatever we're doing. It might have already happened. It might have already fucking happened. And we're going to keep it pushing. Though. God's up there. We like, don't take, like, listen, <laughs> we didn't take nothing to, oh, you're not going to, you're not going to listen to God. God yeah. going to pull up right now and be like, what's happening? I'm like, back. Bro, you don't look AI. nothing like we thought. Exactly. <laughs> everybody going everybody to start clowning. Like, nah, that's hard. Everybody going to start clowning, yo. It's hard to shake Americans, bro. Man, listen. We have the oldest my, man. My homie Carlos came to school on 9-11, saw the building go into, saw the, the plane go into the building and still showed up. Get the fuck out of here. Dead ass. He showed up late to school. He, he came in. He Mom, like, I think we're going to be late. Son. Fuck. He pulled up late to school and I was like, yo, why'd you come? He goes, bro, I only had one more absence left. <laughs> yo. <laughs> oh, so you was already there. Oh, yeah, I'm already there. Cool. He showed up cool. late. Okay, I'm like, you. bro, why'd you even come? He goes, bro, I only had one more absence left. <laughs> so, uh, listen, Americans, we don't care. Americans like nothing. don't give a fuck, but New Yorkers really don't. Because we a used fuck. to seeing everything. Yeah. No, y'all, y'all, not, that's not true. We're desensitized no, to that's it. That's absolutely true. Y'all don't give up. Y'all not used to seeing everything because there's some shit that we about to see that we never seen. But y'all don't give a fuck. Nobody. I, by the way, nobody gives nothing, a fuck. No nothing more. phases New Yorkers, bro. This shit right here makes everybody a New Yorker. What's Cause, that? Because because for for years in New York, people will walk right by you, act like they don't see you. Yeah. Now when they want to act like they don't see you, they just keep looking down at their phone. And guess what? They really don't see you. But we used to ignore people to their face. Yeah. yeah. That's the thing. Yeah, Good old yeah, days. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we were born in the darkness. <laughs> <laughs> we have the oldest president ever in the history of presidents in the White House. We have a guy who's had nine, who's got ninety one criminal charges, four indictments, two impeachments, still running and winning. 
<laughs> yeah. Busting everybody's ass. Because black I, people know a real one. It's not black. Black, black people know a real one. The, 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 Is black, Donnie not a real one? Black people have, black people have nothing to can, do with that. Can Donald you Trump. play what he said at the. <laughs> yeah, it's so oh, great. Yeah. What? It's so There's great. One. I only see uh, the, the blacks. Yeah. I, I only see the blacks. I, I didn't Son. understand the joke. That. The lights are so bright. The white people were blending in with the light. Right. Oh, so that was a diss to white people then? Yeah. yeah. He only oh. sees the blacks. Oh. He only sees the no, blacks. No, he was being so this condescending. This shit is so funny. Nah, he's just the he's, fucking man. It's so bright in my eyes that I can't see too many people out there. But uh, I can only see the black ones. I can't see any white ones. You see? That's how far I've come. <laughs> That's how far I've come. That's a good double on time. <laughs> That's a long way, isn't it? He's nice. <laughs> He's also admitting he's racist. Uh, exactly. But he died. Nice. He, he, like, he was. He was. Yeah, he used to, he be, used to be. Look how far I come. I don't even see you crackers no more. All I see is the Negroes. Mm -hmm. But uh, I can only see. By the way, he's talking at a black event. Yeah. Yeah. He, like, he know. He he understands, man, how to communicate. Like it's just. Come on, bro. It's listen, Donnie T. He keep he telling how Democrats. To communicate? He he's one yes. of the greatest he communicators ever. What do you mean? Yeah, you're, you're crazy. If you think Donald Trump's not a good communicator, you're crazy. Taylor, that was funny. You love him. He's a comedian, not a good communicator. You love him. I don't. Oh, talking about, talking about, listen to what you just said, Taylor. Come on, Taylor. You said he's a comedian, but he's not a good communicator. Comedians are the best communicators. Facts. No, they're not. Humor is the best form of communication. There's nothing better. It's it so cuts true. through. It cuts through. What's better than humor? What's better than humor? So Someone that, that actually has a genuine heart and concern about your feelings. You don't even feelings. listen to them. Yeah. You can't name two, three of them right now. That sounded wild gay. You can't name three of them right now. <laughs> you ignore those types. You don't amplify those types. You, you can't name three of them right but now. But funny shit cuts through. You want to tell someone the truth? Make them laugh or they'll kill you. If I tell you to name three funny people right now, you can name them off the top of your head. Go. Name three funny people. Have my heart. You're funny. You're Andrew Schultz. Okay. And that's the weed. I even the tip of the iceberg. All right. Name three black people. What's See how hard it is? <laughs> See how hard it what? is? No. See how hard now, it is? Now, now name three good-hearted people that you love name to hear from. Name three kind people. Uh, Issa Rae. Um, Issa does it through humor. Issa does it through humor. Mm. Issa humor. ain't out here giving no Malcolm X speeches. Mm. Okay, what? fine. Michelle Obama. I don't think you checking for Michelle like that. That's so disrespectful. You're not checking What's for Michelle. What's disrespectful? You're not checking for Michelle like that. What's disrespectful? You just said name three people. One don't like count. what? But you, Michelle, you, now name another one. My mother. That's that's fucking. We true. ain't never heard your mama's speeches. I have, but most people have. Yeah. Now, do I think your mama's speeches slap? <clears> Absolutely. <throat> Them shit is fire. Okay, your mother's way with words. Incredible. Yeah. And she knows how to cuss people out too. You want to be does. one of them? You want to be I one of them? I'm not, I'm not going to oh, lie. Okay. But you know, be, be, due to a lot of my childhood trauma, I like that type of abuse. <laughs> so when she talks <laughs> crazy stupid. to me, I love it. Yeah, what's wrong with you? I do. Yeah. I love it. It's like that shit makes me feel warm. You know what I mean? She'd be like, shut the fuck up and do what I ask you to do. And I'd be like, yeah, this guy's man. invincible. I know, right? This yeah. guy's invincible. <laughs> I'm serious. He's yo. really Bane. This is Bane right here. There's nothing you can yo, say to this motherfucker. It's true. There's really not. And I wish people would understand that. The more you abuse him, the more he likes it. This guy likes it. Listen, man. I have seen myself every which way. <laughs> butt loose. Okay. Your butt loose? <laughs> what do you mean your butt so loose? said that all I heard in my head was butt loose. Butt, butt loose. loose. <laughs> <laughs> Put on your Sunday shoes. Buy loose. Buy loose. Uh, what else we got? Man, what um, the fuck is this Hulu trailer? Yes, I, I blame you. I blame what? you, They don't Andrew. have no fucking show. They made what? a trail, like a documentary about their love. Man, get Hold the on. fuck out That's of here. That's no, fire. That's No, it's not. Why Look. can't we just support white love, yo? Culture's biggest story. Taylor and Travis are clearly in love. And stream now. Dive into the world's biggest relationship. What does it all mean for their future? TMZ investigates Taylor and Travis. Hmm. Stream on Hulu now. Hold on. Here Why you. can't we support white love? They only been going out for three months. They Why are people married. so upset? Exactly. I'm like, not what's even going joking. on? Like, no, it's crazy. Out. This is it's ridiculous. Why is it ridiculous? Every dude that Lori Harvey dates is a whole fucking. It's no story. documentary. She don't even got bangers like that. There's no documentary or anything. They're not like, even married. This is ridiculous. No, nah, we need to document this. She's the most famous person and the greatest artist of our time, oh, and God. he's a pretty good football player. 
They're yeah, not like, married, bro. <laughs> Yo, you know what's crazy? People are throwing Taylor Swift parties where it's like they'll rent out a room, yep. sell a bunch of tickets, and then they have an, a Taylor lookalike come and just perform. That's fire. And they, that's they Elvis. $100 a ticket. That's Taylor. Elvis. That's Michael Jackson. She's the Michael Jackson Great. of our time. I, y'all don't believe it. Now you're starting to realize it. Beyonce had to do, do uh, Beyonce t- country music so she not can compete. Not that I heard of. We, we know what Taylor's capable of. Taylor's so big right now that everybody's using her. Yeah. yeah. Clout. And what I mean by that is you got Donald Trump saying she would never endorse... Joe Biden, I did this for artists, so she might possibly endorse me. I don't know if he said that, might possibly endorse me, but Joe Biden was like, she endorsed me in the last election. He said that on stuff. My fucking Deadpool 3, they putting out little Easter eggs that she might be playing Dazzler. So she what? might be in Deadpool 3. Like, you, everybody's using Taylor. Taylor's going to be at the Black Effect Podcast Festival. I didn't want to say nothing, but now <laughs> that I think about it, she's going to be at the Black Effect Podcast Festival April 27th in Atlanta, Georgia at Pullman Yards, man. So you really need to go get your tickets wow. from Eventbrite. Yo, you told him that. I thought that was going to be a I secret. Po- I know it's supposed to be a secret, but you know. I'm why? not going to lie. I don't like you using Taylor like that. Why? <laughs> Because it's disrespectful to her. Taylor, is she going to be at your show? Taylor, you've been a podcast. Um, but she is going to be at my shows, Alex. That's a great thing that you put that out there. Mm. At every venue. At every coming venue. to every venue? Everything. Yeah. Because Travis fucks with you. Trav, you know what I'm saying? Travis Trav fuck fucks me. Yeah, yeah, Probably yeah. the greatest football player of all time. Now he's the greatest. <laughs> greatest tight end. <laughs> he's pretty good. Greatest tight end Might of be all great. time. Might be greatest tight end. Mm-hmm. Might be greatest tight end, yo. All right. Like all right. Travis Kelsey, Tony Gonzalez. Google t- greatest tight end Yo, of all time. Yo, shout out to Taylor. Tony, but Tony don't got the rings. My man got the rings. Alex, Google, put matter of fact, greatest NFL tight ends. Because I know you be on Pornhub. So. What? <laughs> greatest NFL tight ends. What, Taylor? What? Say we'll talk it. about later. Taylor, tell me. Who, who we got? Uh, that's not also, we better do some asking it is because I got a daughter oh, to get to home right, to, and right, I do not right. play sure. around with my that's six right. o'clock. That's I'm right. home with that baby. Let's 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 do some. I love that too, bro. I love that. I'm Every like, day, I love that. When I say I love that, I love that so much. Let's go to some asking it is Taylor because Alex is having such a hard time fighting finding yes. tight ends. Do you guys because all do he the... knows is loose? Loose. Ends. You like them loose. <laughs> See, I discuss. You're, you. I discuss. Yo, You're let a, us be immature. Can idiots. we? Can okay? we? For two hours a week, can we come in here and be nah. immature idiot men? Y'all nah. fathers, yo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, come on, man. You're a yeah, butt fucker. <laughs> a fudge packer. You're a butt fucker. You're, hey, you're, you're are a butt fucker. <laughs> you're a Roddy Roddy fudge packer. You really are. You're like stuffing fudge and butts. <laughs> you're a butt fucker. <laughs> Yeah, what is wrong with you? You know this lives all lie, right? Huh? Your, your daughter's going to see this one day. That's okay. Yeah. She'll know that you're a butt fucker. <laughs> you, you pack fudge. My butts. daughter is going to see a very well-rounded individual. Oh, yeah? Okay? Yeah. yeah. I'm all of these things, yeah. okay? Al has a well-rounded butt that he gets fucked. I, I, they, 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 <laughs> no, no. I'm not, I'm not no bottom. They, they, by the way, <laughs> hey, we need to start. That's the pro- by the way, that's the problem with the world we're in. People forget how multifaceted humans are. Yeah, Y'all we're so don't even know how faceted. Everybody's making themselves so one dimensional and it's no. so weird. Use your hands to describe your perfect dick length. <laughs> oh my god. Crazy part. I started to go. This shit's too crazy, bro. It's gonna be tapping lungs. I need to bring it. I need a short in this. Shit. Okay, asking. Oh, we got another mid. Then we do a mirror on asking idiot. Hey, yo, salute to Chime, man. Thank you, Chime. Chime has been supporting me since I was doing my talk show on Comedy Central that got uh, canceled. Okay, but salute to Chime. Making progress with your money starts today with the right checking account this year can feel easier. Chime's online checking account has tons of benefits that millions of members love, like fee-free overdraft of up to $200 for eligible members. It's a debit card so good, your overdraft paying friends will want to switch too. Plus, get paid up to two days early with direct deposit, all while managing your money on the go 24-7. With Chime, you can access over 60,000 fee-free ATMs. That's more than the top three 
national banks combined. Easily find one near you with the Chime app. You can even send and receive money with Chime, pay friends through Chime, whether they're a Chime member or not, and cash out your money fee free. And don't forget, there's no monthly balance, minimum balance, or overdraft fees. Sign up for Chime today. Joining takes just minutes. Get started at Chime.com slash idiots. That's Chime.com slash idiots. Banking services and debit card provided by the Bancorp Bank, NA, Austride Bank, and A members FDIC. Spot me eligibility requirements and overdraft limits apply. Early access to direct deposit funds depends on payer. Out of network ATM withdrawal fees may apply. Also, guys, this episode has been brought to you by DoorDash, okay? I'm telling you right now, if you want more from delivery, you can get it with DoorDash. What, why are you even going out and getting things yourself to go? It will be brought to your house. DoorDash is the most affordable way to get anything in your area delivered right to your door. It's going to help you save money. It's going to help you save time. That's maybe the most important thing. Every time you do a DoorDash order, listen, there is a $0 delivery fee built in, okay? And lower service fees on eligible orders. Dash Pass makes it easy to save on restaurants, groceries, uh, retail items, and your local favorites that deliver on DoorDash. Think about that. It's not just the food. That's a very important thing. Whatever you need, they're going to get it for you on DoorDash. And Dash Pass pays for itself in two orders on average, making delivery even more worth it. Plus, Dash Pass gives you special access to exclusive promotions and members-only menu items all for only $9.99. It's an absolute bargain, okay? You get more from delivery for less. You're going to save that money in an average of two orders. That means everything after that is just in your pocket. They're giving you the opportunity to save money. Why would you not do it? You're already getting stuff delivered anyway. No brainer. Use the code IDIOTS24. You get 50% off up to a $10 value when you spend $12 or more after signing up for Dash Pass, okay? That's code IDIOTS24 for 50% off, up to a $10 value when you spend $12 or more after signing up for Dash Pass, okay? Remember, the subject to change and terms apply. Now, let's do some asking idiot. Let's do some asking idiots. Come on, Taylor gang. Come on, Taylor. Taylor, Taylor, track the trailer. You don't want to <laughs> Let's go, Taylor. <laughs> Say nothing like that. Do what? Uh, da, 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 da. Ooh, Lewis Hungry says, too soon? But is Andrew Drake any titty milk yet? Hell yeah. Okay, talk to me. Yeah, I drank it. And? I don't know. I mean... I don't think it's I don't think it's better than milk. But <laughs> why yeah, don't we drink human milk on the regular? It is a peculiar thing that yeah. we drink animal milk and not, but it's just hard to get it out them ducks. Once you have a once you have a baby, you know, after it stops producing, it's hard to do it. Not if you keep doing it. My wife won't let me take it out the tap. That's the one thing that's a little bothersome to me. Really? <laughs> I want to go right from the tap. I want to go from you remember the source. When we, that time we was in London and my wife uh when she when she left the sorry the broke, pump the pump broke or whatever it was, you gotta do what you gotta do sometime, my boy. So you went out there and you just sucked it out. What? <laughs> you sucked when you sucked out the milk, that ass. You gotta do yes. She That's was in my pain. Boy. That's my boy, bro. She was in pain. Like that milk, like that it gets. Yeah, it hurts. Yeah, it absolutely. Hurts Hell yeah. You gotta do what you couldn't gotta do, my boy. Couldn't have done it with your hand. Nah, you gotta suck no. it out. You don't waste that nectar. You don't waste that nectar. Mm. Yeah, it's liquid gold. Literally. I had a cold since. <laughs> no way. I ain't had a cold since. No way. Your skin cleared up. I think. Exactly. Like, You're light. Nah, that's fine. <laughs> okay, what else we got? What else we got, Taylor Gang? Ooh, go to Jacobs Unlimited. If Sharla got pregnant and had to give the baby to either... <laughs> what, what's up with our listeners, man? If Sharla <laughs> got pregnant and had to give the baby to either Andrew, Alex, or Tage, Taylor, who would it be? I mean, it's no-brainer. But why just y'all three? Why are y'all the only options? I'm a dad. <laughs> I'm why a dad. did you get pregnant? You're in the first a new place? dad. You barely a bad dad. Yeah, but days. I'm more dad than you guys. Wow. And why would I give up my baby? Exactly. No, but you why have, to. You you have, have to. to. Now the one concern why? is: you Do you to. want to give a black baby to a white person? But why would I be? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to know what makes Jacobs Unlimited think I would give up my baby. No, but you yeah, have you to. Do. This is the scenario. You have to. You have you don't to. Think I would have a rich baby daddy. <laughs> Me. 
No. These hips don't lie. No, don't sorry. fucking play with me. Let me see them hips. Come on, Let me don't see fucking play with me. Let me see them hips. These oh, hips some, don't fucking lie. Some hell, hell oh, cat lips some. right there. So. Oh, damn, bro. <laughs> right, yo. Yeah, some, some hell cat That shit was fire, fire right there. Hip hell cat over yeah. here. Don't play with me. King got no lines for play them with hips. Me. Yeah. The Not a single like. line. Right, who's, getting, my, who's getting the baby? None of y'all. That's my baby. You have to. That's the scenario. That's disrespectful. Says, I gotta give the I baby take up. care of a child. Jacob's a- Unlimited, you gotta give me more context. I need more of a story than this. Okay. Oh, a life without okay. Oscar be savage on him. A life without internet or a life without social media? That's not even a question. I know. Easy money. A life without social media. Get rid of social media in a heartbeat. Yeah. Easy call. I mean, it's yeah. Easy call. I- easy call. I'm is YouTube considered social media? No. Oh, then boom, done. No, okay, here. I'm 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 for YouTube with regulations. Why? Because of the misinformation and how yeah. people are using YouTube as a news network. People do just say anything. Like that. That's my. That's what I'm saying. Like, yo, there's there's too much manipulation going on a, on YouTube. It's too. I mean, it's go, happening on social media too. Yeah. But we also just say anything. So you got to protect. No, their right no, to no, say so, no, 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 no. We don't just say anything. I mean, stop. I, we can't. I do. do. No, we don't. Y'all, if, if y'all think we say anything, then y'all ain't looking at what's on the internet. I mean, people would say even more anything, but we also it, do say it's anything. Un, it's unreal the amount of anything <laughs> that people say on people social do, media. People do, yeah, they, they can ruin people's lives. and It's you know, unbelievable. Spread. Yeah. yeah and, we but, ideally are just saying anything to make you laugh. There are people who will say anything to really hurt people. That's fucked up. Ideally, we're just making, you know, you chuckle at home. Yeah. You big back fat fucks. Jesus Christ. See, fat fucks is some alliteration that I... <laughs> Ben got rid of my let from my. You stopped letter. saying it. Yeah, and it, it didn't hit for me. Fat fuck. I thought you liked the alliteration. Yeah, but I'm saying, I just outgrew it when I was a child. Mm. And fat fucks used to fly. You would you would just say it real quick. Fat what? Fuck. Fat fuck. <laughs> <laughs> fat fuck. <laughs> you just stopped. Well, by fuck. the way, you know what's so crazy? What? You know who I've called a fat fuck more than anybody in my life? Myself. Really? Whenever somebody wants to lose weight, y'all That's can lie. Not- y'all can lie to yourselves all you want. Yeah. But the first thing that you say to yourself is, "I'm a fat, <laughs> I'm a fat fuck." fuck. Yeah. And Absolutely. you telling yourself you a fat fuck, looking down at your stomach or looking in the mirror at that That's big motivational. Back, you like I'm it's a motivational. Fat fuck. Nah, it's, a mo- it's, it's motivational. Big Mac reminded me today that I got a little chunky. Really? How would he yeah. do it? He just told me. He said, you got a little thing? No, no, this is back when, he was talking about back when, because he used to work with us in 2013. Uh, That's when I was was fucked up physically and mentally. Raccoon eyes. We was in and out of the clubs all the time, (laughs) drinking. You said what? (laughs) Raccoon eyes, what they call you. Yes, but all of that was, but you could visibly see it. So it's like when I got a handle on my physical and my mental well-being and all that. Then all of a sudden you got it. Absolutely. But you know what it took me? Looking in the mirror saying, you a fat fuck. Nothing will get you motivated to lose weight and unbig your back like calling yourself a fat fuck and everybody out there has done it you're lying to yourself if you said you have yeah. man is good so it shouldn't be a negative thing if you're doing it to somebody else you're helping them yeah, you're just trying you can, to motivate you can do that with people you know and love mm. people you don't know they'll take it away they will take it negatively your boys can be like a, your, your homegirls can be like hey you little fat fuck you know you what if you call, what if you're talking about a woman's vagina that you really enjoyed What's the next asking idiot? <laughs> I gotta go. Tell I gotta it, see like, my daughter. Yeah. yeah. Bye. Right, yeah. Let's gotta go. That's it. Peace. That's it. Anything else good? Nothing good, right? All right. I just gotta Wait. Run. As always. There was a good one. No, 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 I gotta always, go to see always, you. Have, you. Do you want me to be a deadbeat dad? You don't know what the good one is. And you, <laughs> do you want me to be a deadbeat dad or do you want me to, to just. Maybe I as always. Yes. Okay. As always. If you listen to this podcast, you think we're smart, you think we're intelligent, you think we're brilliant, you're absolutely right. But if you listen to this podcast and you think we're just a couple of fat shaming idiots, You're right, too. It's the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Thank you for listening.